Hello guys and welcome to Planet Zoo. A big thank you for your support so far on these videos. I've had so much fun playing this game. I cannot wait for the full release. Again, the timing is not perfect because it does come out the same time as Need for Speed, but we'll we we work it out, it's fine. Uh, but today, I want to start my own zoo. Scenarios, career mode, we've learned the basics. Now it's time to start our own one. Yes, start from scratch. Yeah. Very, very excited. If you guys could be awesome, by the way, leave your likes and comments. Super appreciate it. Any sort of feedback as well, because we are starting from like the very beginning. The very first path, the very first building, the very first animal in our zoo. Game right zoo. <laughs> wow, great name, Scott. Yay. So we can now make our zoo. I think the Game Right Zoo is actually the, the name of the franchise, not the actual name of the zoo. But we can only select one biome, and that is the Grasslands and Asia. That's because this is the beta. Of course, the full game, we can select all of these, every continent we want. Let's call this Game Riot. Done. Let's make our first zoo. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous because I'm probably going to screw it up, but this is more, I guess, of like a practice run. Start just to get our first animals in, our first staff in, and just see how it goes, really. Welcome. Uh, go and play the tutorials, which I've done a little bit already, so I know some of the, the basics. I'm hoping the park isn't open yet. I, I really hope so, because that would be a bad idea. So this is where our zoo can be. Wow. Right, let's start, I guess, with a path. There we go, our first path. Nice and wide, that is exactly what we want. Uh, okay, I screwed that up. What did I do wrong? There we go. Is that good? Please, finish. So this is the keeper's hut. If you guys watch my my career stuff. This is basically where all the food goes. This is where the, the zookeepers go to feed the animals. So it's it's a basic building, but we definitely need it. Uh, so that is, yeah, that's a small hut. Just got that. Do I want to go for these buildings? They are quite expensive. Or these ones. Mm, see, maybe I go for these other ones. So can I delete that? That's, that's a bad move already. Great job. <laughs> Let's try it again. I'll make sure that does connect. Lovely. And then we want a quarantine zone for the new animals once they arrive. So now we put down a research sensor. This is where we learn about the animals. We can learn about more enrichments or more food. What the animal likes. Just basically learn more about the animal. There we go. That's going down. I'm trying to make sure that is nice and straight. Perfect. Uh, next one would be be a staff building this is where obviously they just go have a little rest rest up ready for the day ahead being a zookeeper or a vet is is not easy work and let me put a vet surgery down it's actually quite a big building but if the animals get injured the vet will go and pick up the animal bring it back to here bring it back to full health and then send it back into the zoo again we need our animals to be very very healthy Workshop, I'm not actually 100% sure what it does, but it's a staff building and we need it. So I'm going to put it straight down. So I've just seen this. This is actually for staff only. So that sounds like it could be a good shout. I can just connect them all up. Easier said than done. So I just found this uh, this staff path. So this is basically locking anywhere, anybody out, any guests from walking on the path. Because obviously we don't want... Uh, guests to walk into the vet or into the quarantine zone. It's not safe there. We don't want that. So that's what I've done there. Just done a little bridge. Nothing too fancy, but I quite like it. I quite like it. Nice little bridge. Does go up quite a bit quite quickly, but I still like it. <laughs> what sort of nature would we have here? So it is... If I remember correctly, biome grasslands. Anything that's in this category would fit quite nicely. I think the entrance obviously looks a bit bare. So I want to try and add perhaps some palm trees, stuff like that. 
give it a little bit of character. Otherwise, it just looks a bit, a bit empty, doesn't it? Really empty. Perfect. Beautiful. It needs a lot of work. A lot of work. Even like little tiny touches like this. Just adding some flowers down. Really does help. I've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> a, a crazy amount of work to do. Animal trading. Do we actually have any? Oh, we do. So we have buffaloes. Elephants. Oh, wow. How many points do I actually have? So I'm about to start a bit... A bit small so of course being a zoo we want some we want some glass we're better see the animals i'm trying to work out what i want to go for in terms of a theme i think wood logs could be quite fun so that is our first habitat of course we need a gate as well a habitat gate is that like a wooden yeah wooden one perfect doesn't look as secure but it's fine <laughs> as long as we can get inside actually i might do no, it doesn't fit there. Okay, that's fine. I'm fine with that gate. So what should we do for our first animal? I'm tempted by... I would love a buffalo, but I can't quite afford them just yet. Oh, can we buy them like, with physical money? With actual money, not these like weird token things. Or oh, we can get the peafowl. Not the most interesting of animals. Oh, ostrich. Ah, here we go. This is what I want. Ostriches. All right, which one should we start with? We only have 300 of these credits. So, yeah, we don't have many. You're a bit old, but it's fine. Let's, let's buy you. My first one, my first adoption. Should we send them over? So we have five in general. I just realized we've got four males and one female. She's going to have fun. <laughs> oh, what have I done? What have I done? I feel sorry for her already. I might get another female. Oh my god. Look at this female. Only 7.2 years. 100% stats all around. I will 100% adopt you. I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot. I get it. But that is a very good fight. This whole connecting thing. Ah, oh, what? Trans okay, did I get it? I got it. Yay! I, th I thought I failed. I was like, no! So they have their jobs to do. Uh, we do need to put something, ideally, into the uh, into the habitat. It looks a bit empty. We've got a lot of work to do. No doubt about that. The common ostrich. So we want some sort of shelter. I think a small one will do. And some nice, comfy bedding. There we go. Lovely. Look at that. And then some nice little, little nice little bit of water. And then we put this down as well. Right by the window. The ostriches are here. So I'm now wondering if we can do maybe some research on ostriches. Just because, yeah, it'd be good to uh, improve the situation for them. Oh, there we go. So now I've got an ostrich actually in the zoo. We can start doing some research on them. So let's get rid of that. Can I just begin? Does it does it do it? No vet assigned. How do I assign? Ah, there you go. There you go, D. So now you are doing research on the ostriches. Yay! So now we have our first habitat. I want to put down my first habitat stand. Educational stand. So that will go there. Let's play it. I think I might have to select the animal. I'm not sure. Yes, we do. There you go. A common ostrich. And eventually, the more info and more research we do, the better that's going to get. The more info will be there. We need some more enrichments badly right now. So, of course, the guests need to have a drink, stuff like that. Also, we can ask for donations. So, please donate to the ostriches. Help us out a little bit. So, that will go there. I don't know if we need to actually physically click on that and select. No. It's just, if it's near it, it should work. I'll put it next to the informational board. 
We've got a lot to think about. <laughs> it's kind of crazy how much we have to think about. Uh, we need some toilets, which I will put over here. These toilets remind me of Planet Coaster. And then we need some shops. So I've got a drink shop, food shop, all the sort of basics. Info shop. Ooh. Do I need... I guess I need some more vendors, don't I? Like, people actually work in these vending areas. These vending facilities. Mm, and tasty. information... Mmm, tasty. You know it. You know it. There you go. Got some stuff down. Some facilities. Do we want an ATM? Could be a good shout. Let's put that down near the toilet. I don't know why. So as you can tell, it does look a little bit flat. <laughs> a little bit sort of just, there's nothing here. So what I might do, there's a filter. Do we know what uh, ostriches would like? Mm, I'm not sure. I don't think we actually know yet. I guess that's with research. So that's a bit annoying. But maybe we can just add the biome anyway. So grasslands. Just put some plants in and hope they like them. Look at that. That is perfect. I'm going to put that under. Put under or in the corner? Let's get rid of that. Put this right in the corner over here. Perhaps put some rocks around. Again, we really got to spend a lot of time just adding little bits of detail and making it feel as lifelike as possible. So, for example, I want to just bring this a bit down. It's a bit sort of high. So dig it into the ground a little bit. There's just so much you can do. Savannah rock. And I feel like it's just a little bit... How do I put it? Flat. Increase the size a little bit. Just try and make it a bit sort of hilly. Perhaps add some water in as well. Get rid of that. And do a nice little pool of water. Just here. Ah, oh, that looks pretty. Ah. Uh, yay! Maybe like a pool of water here with some trees coming out of it. So many ideas. Do we have any donations yet? Oh, $160! And they're looking at the sign. I mean, I don't know, what are you doing? Get in front of the sign. That's it, throw the money in. Thank yous. Look at the coins! <laughs> what the hell? That is crazy. Look, 340 That was such a good idea. So I think we may only have one... Yeah, I need to, I need to hire more staff, basically. So go to zoo, staff, and vendors. Can we set up the prices and stuff like that? I'm guessing so. Um, yes, we can. Let's set the prices. So profit per unit. Do we want to increase the price? It's all up to us, really. Let's sync with all shops. Bring the price, the price up just a little bit. And for that, you'll get some ketchup and gherkins. There you go. That seems like a good deal to me. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. Lights. So you've got hanging lights. Lamp posts. I'm guessing we can eventually research some more, but these will do for now. And we need some light in here. <laughs> it's so dark. As long as power is in the vicinity. Oh, another Osha just arrived. That took a while. Another light here, a light by the toilet, so you can actually see what you're up to. Some lights by the the staff areas. Again, all these little details adds to the realism of the park. We have so much work to do. There we go, some wall lights. Ten dollars a piece. Ouch. But you can now see inside. There we go. Look! Come and see the amazing ostriches! We are starting to lose money. We need to start thinking about another animal. It's true. We really need to see more animals here. Let's 
gotta happen. Is that poop there? Is that ostrich poop? I think that's ostrich poop. I believe so anyway. We need some food here. Oh, that does not look good. Oi! Calm it down. I understand your enrichment's low, but doesn't mean you gotta fight. Chill it out a little bit. <sighs> Can't get the stuff these days. Ridiculous. Can we put any other animals in here? All right, let's go for a little, the little pea fowls. They they seem to keep standing out to me. They keep popping up. So, let's adopt one. The online segment of this game is the only thing I've questioned so far. I'm not really sure, like when it's working and when it's not working. Should expect some more animals very very soon. There we go, zookeeper. Thank you very much. Ostrich. This is our gold prized ostrich again no enrichment i'm trying to get the zoo done uh not the zoo done the research done but every time a vet gets busy they basically i believe they stop so does take a little bit of time so jane's working on it right now we're almost there almost we're almost done oh the peafowls are here oh so we need to work on temperature do we even have a cooling facility ah we don't have a cooler yet so that kind of sucks uh habitat terrain you want some more short grass we can give it a go the pea fowls might not work here i know it sounds weird to say that but yeah it's not ideal do you want some more short grass we can do that and also some more soil there we go. And some soil. So I put that around the uh, the water. Pea fowls, I'm going to try my best to keep you happy. But I might fail. There we go. I don't really like the look of long grass, to be honest. So I'm completely fine with this. And a bit more soil. Done. So the pea fowls are now have fairly good terrain it's just the temperature's just a little bit higher not really sure what i can do about that without having a cooler which is not currently available uh, what about the ostriches are they happy with the enrichment not great the last meal was not great how about the train though train's perfect yes so because obviously we've got another animal in there if we can why is that can i put that down right there Whoa, hello. It went really dark though. Is that the right way around? Yep. And let's put some peafowl information there. There we go. Running costs. You can change the colour as well. There's so much you can do in this game. It is it is insane. Please feel free to donate as much as possible. I am finding it a bit difficult to find this currency. That's basically the currency that lets us buy animals. It can be quite quite tricky. Oh! Another research. Yay! You discovered three items for that one species. The Indian peafowl. So now we've got a slow feeder. Just put one down. I believe both the ostrich and the peafowl can use those. And of course the bull. So they can hit them around and be happy. Do you have at least... Yeah, they're actually fairly happy. Nutrition, the last meal is not great. Oh. That peafowl is moving quick. Very quick. It's just the temperature. The temp. They're not happy with the temp. So I want to try and earn some more of this currency. But I don't really see how to. Releasing animals into the wild. Okay. But I want to keep my animals. Ideally. Logging in daily. I can do that. Right, so I think that might be the end of this episode. I was... I feel like I've been slightly halted by the fact I can't really invest too much money into the the animals. But hopefully, I can find a way to get that currency and to start being a little bit more ambitious. Whoa, that's a big bush. <laughs> Did not expect that. Uh, yeah. We've got to make a lot of progress. A lot of progress is coming up, though. Can't wait. Put these flowers either side. Very pretty. Look at that. That is a very pretty entrance. So, so far we have 
ostriches and peafowls and that is all we have of course i want to start to get i want to become a little bit more ambitious with the animals we get we'll get there but we're doing some decent research we've started the the base of the park our first habitat we're obviously going to expand and yeah i'll see you guys soon bye bye